Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing some more products. This time we're comparing two relatively inexpensive or cheap or affordable, pick your keyword, brands of gouache. The two brands that I have for you today are Arteza and Reeves. So you've probably heard of both of these brands before. They do more than just gouache. They do gouache and watercolors and things like that. And I will say before we get started that the Arteza products were sent to me by the company. They asked me if I would be interested in trying out some more of their products for a review. They're not paying me to make this video, but I will be leaving links to all of these products in the description, and those will be affiliate links. So anything that you purchase using those links from either Arteza's website or Amazon, I will receive a small commission for anything that you decide to purchase. Only if you want to, of course, no pressure. Let's talk about how these differ initially in as far as like the actual tubes go. The Reeves gouache comes in plastic 10 milliliter tubes. I have a 24 color set here. And other than the name of the color, that's pretty much all the information you're gonna get. On the Arteza set, we've got a little bit more information. This comes in a metal 12 milliliter tube, and we've got information pertaining to light fastness, opacity, as well as the pigments used. I personally prefer the metal tubes because I find that you can squeeze them and roll them and actually get more paint out of them this way. Let's go ahead and talk about how these sets, which are both 24 colors, differ in price. As I said, these are both 24 color sets, with the Arteza set having 12 milliliter tubes and the Reeves set having 10 milliliter tubes. According to the Amazon US, the Arteza set is currently going for $18.98, while the Reeves set is currently listed at $14.69. I would recommend kind of waiting throughout the week to see how the prices vary for these because I personally only paid about $12 for my Reeves set. It was definitely cheaper than what it's currently listed at. You can also get Arteza products on their website and it varies as to whether that's cheaper or more expensive than purchasing them on Amazon. So if you're interested in these products, I would recommend checking both out. Currently, Arteza's gouache is listed at $26.99 on their website. As these sets both contain the same number of colors, I was really curious as to how the colors matched up. As in, did one set have more oranges or did one have more blues, things like that. So I decided to line them up and kind of investigate myself. Some of them were identical, like both sets had black and white and Prussian blue and things like that. But I was actually really interested to see that there were some colors that were exclusive to Reeves and some that were exclusive to Arteza. Overall, I actually think I like the color selection of the Reeves gouache a tiny bit more, but we're going to put them to the test, and color selection doesn't matter that much if the gouache is kind of unusable by one brand or the other. So what I did to swatch these out was I made a little dot of each color and kind of brush that out. It's mostly just paint. I used very little water. I kind of wanted to just see the natural consistency of the paint with a very small amount of water and also test the opacity out a little bit. So I basically followed the procedure that you're seeing here for both brands and did that side by side. These paints that you're seeing here are the Reeves gouache. I noticed almost right away that the Reeves gouache is fairly streaky, and now I didn't use very much water here, so I'm sure that if you kind of balanced out the water ratios, you might be able to get something a little bit flatter, a little bit less streaky, but I did kind of notice that almost right away. My daughter also pointed out to me when we got to the very end that I had missed one of the colors on the Arteza side. So there's actually only 22 colors there. There's a total of 23 colors in the Arteza set because that one actually comes with two tubes of white. I also noticed that the Arteza gouache was generally more opaque, laid flatter with fewer streaks, and had more of a matte finish than the Reeves gouache. 
Doing swatches like this is really helpful in seeing what colors you have and for a broad sense of opacity, but I found that the best way to test out art supplies like this is to actually attempt to paint something with them. So here I am using Arteza watercolor paper and I decided to just test out some quick little spheres before I did an actual piece. With both of these, I started by laying on thinner transparent washes that were closer to watercolor in the water to paint ratio and after that I went in with more opaque thicker layers. You'll notice that the colors are very different, that was kind of intentional. I did use a primary set for both, I know the warm and cool makes a big difference as to how those layer, but I found that the Reeves side on the left was much streakier and I felt much less in control of what the colors turned into when I mixed them. I felt like when I was mixing the colors on the Arteza side, I was much more in control and knew what more to expect with the colors themselves, and the colors were a bit flatter and blended together a bit better. Hopefully you can see that here. I do like that burnt orange color on the Reeves side, but it was kind of unpredictable. If you're interested in more information about how these paints differ as far as how they mix, my art friend Anastasia, who also has a YouTube channel, has put together some really nice in-depth information about color mixing based on pigments and things like that, so I'm going to link her video in the card and also down in the description below so you can check her out. When it came to creating an actual piece to test these out, I did pretty much the same thing for both brands. I grabbed the primary colors, so yellow, red, I know that magenta is supposed to be better than red, and blue. I just grabbed three, those three colors from each brand and white. I wasn't necessarily trying to make them the same color temperature, I just grabbed ones I was interested in from the swatch sheet and used those. I started off by laying in actually just a quick wash of watercolors on my paper here, and I wanted to give these guys the best possible chance for success, so I actually didn't use the Arte Arteza watercolor paper for this, I used my Arches cold press watercolor paper. I do like Arteza watercolor paper for swatches and practice things, but when it comes to doing more layers and lifting and things like that, the Arteza paper just doesn't hold up as well as a more expensive, a more premium cotton watercolor paper. I decided to go with different color schemes for these two comparison pieces as well, just because I didn't really feel like they needed to be exactly the same. I hope you guys don't mind that these comparison pieces are a bit simpler than the ones I have done in the past. I'll go ahead and link to a playlist of all of my comparison videos that I've done so far if you're interested in seeing the products that we've talked about so far up to this point. I actually, usually when I do these comparisons, I start with the cheaper brand so that I'm not kind of swayed or my experience isn't tainted by having worked with the more expensive one first, but because these are both cheaper, I would say these are technically both student grade products while the Arteza, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, does seem to be higher quality. Um, I started with the Arteza one this time and then did the Reeves one the next day and I noticed almost right away, hopefully you guys can see it, that streakiness, that natural streakiness of the Reeves gouache really shows through when you're working in like more of a finished piece and the colors don't blend together as well. They were pretty vibrant and pretty saturated, but there was something that was kind of naturally muddy about the Reeves colors to where the Arteza colors just were a bit cleaner from the get-go, which made mixing with them a more pleasant experience. And I, I had trouble keeping my colors from getting sort of muddled with the Reeves gouache. I know you can't see it a ton from here, but I could feel it a lot when I was working with these colors. I just found the Arteza gouache to be much easier to work with, and it felt like gouache, if that makes sense. The Arteza gouache, I'm probably just going to take those tubes and dump them in with the rest of my gouache and just add that to my general collection and choose from those colors when I'm working with my more professional brands like M. Graham and Holbein to where the Reeves gouache is going to be staying separate and I might use that for practice things or thumbnails. I definitely find that the Arteza gouache is of a better quality. As I said earlier, I would still rank the Arteza gouache as a student quality product, but it's in that 
upper student quality category, kind of similar to like Van Gogh watercolors and things like that, where it's technically not a professional product, but the quality is still really nice, especially for the price. I would actually use my Arteza gouache after doing some light fastness tests. I would use this for, for, for professional things, especially in conjunction with some of my other brands of gouache. I really like also that Arteza included two tubes of white, as that's one of the quickest colors to go when you're using gouache, because unlike with watercolors, you're not going to be just diluting the color to make it lighter. You actually need to add white to make colors lighter in gouache. So I just feel like there are a lot of little professional nice touches with the Arteza set and with their company as a whole, where they're trying to appeal to a more professional audience, and you just don't have that as much with Reeves. You can tell that the audience that these two products are aimed for very slightly, where Reeves is for like, this is for beginners, this is for people who just kind of want to throw paint around, and the Arteza gouache is more for people who actually want to learn the medium. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've tried any of these products down below below in the comments. You can check out the products or other videos down in the description, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye!